Hi, my name is Brock Clavino. I'm the chef at Yamashiro Restaurant in Hollywood. I'm going to be taking you inside my kitchen and showing you how we use our Himalayan salt plate to cook our Wagyu steak. Okay, so now we're gonna get the Himalayan salt plate ready. We need to get it hot so that the meat can properly cook on it fast enough. So what we do is we get our ovens uh, about 450 to 500 degrees. We have a convection oven that we actually use because that uh, circulates the air and gets it hotter even faster. We put it in the oven. and then we leave it there about 30 to 40 minutes. Don't do it too much longer than that because they will break, they will crack, and even some of, the, of them have exploded on us when we brought them out and we've left them there for about an hour. So kind of be careful. The first time you do it, try it for about 30 minutes and see how hot it is. They'll retain their heat after you have it out of the oven for about 20 to 30 minutes. So be careful, even if you think it's been sitting on the table for a while, be careful when you touch it, it'll still stay really, really hot, which is one of the reasons we like it because it retains the heat when we put it on the table with the guest, they can take their time and uh, cook their meat at their leisure. Again, the salt, it doesn't really make the, the meat salty, it just imparts uh, flavor and heightens the actual flavor of the meat itself without making it salty. So now we're gonna take the salt plate out of the oven. It's been in there about 30 minutes. It's going to be really hot. So use a kitchen towel, a pair of tongs, something to protect yourself, a, an oven mitt, because it'll be about 500 degrees. We also put a, a, a linen or napkin on the actual plate because the salt is so hot it could uh, char your plate or make marks on the um, ceramic of the plate. Very hot. So the dish we serve at Yamashiro is the American Wagyu steak. We choose the steak because it's beef, it has a lot of high fat content, and it cooks really well on the hot salt plate. And it imparts the flavor without becoming salty. Some things that I've tried that haven't worked so well, scallops, shrimp, they don't have the same amount of uh, fat content and they don't cook as well. They cook, but they become a little bit more rubbery and they actually become a little salty. Other things I would not cook on this are salty foods like bacon, unless you really, really enjoy salt. But from my experience, a nice New York, a nice sirloin, a nice ribeye beef would be great on the salt plate. It cooks very fast. When it's 450 to 500 degrees, you want to cut your meat fairly thin and um, watching it. It'll go from rare to well done in about 30 seconds. So that was the Himalayan salt plate. If you do this at home, make sure you really take precautions because it will be hot. Thanks for stopping by.